Welcome to video 168 in series 3, and now I'll write the NPC Ragdoll Activation script. Okay, I need to make a new c -sharp script, and I'm going to call it NPC underscore Ragdoll Activation, and then open it up, of course. I'll have three variables. Those are private NPC master, NPC master, private rigid body, my rigid body, private collider, my collider. Inside of set initial references, I will have NPC master is equal to transform dot root dot get component NPC master. If get component collider is not equal to null, then my collider is equal to get component collider. If get component rigid body is not equal to null, then my rigid body is equal to get component rigid body. Okay, now I'll have the uh, method for actually turning on the ragdoll. So this is void activate ragdoll. If my collider is not equal to null, my collider dot enabled is equal to true. My collider dot is trigger is equal to false. If my rigid body not equal to null, then my rigid body dot is kinematic is equal to false. My rigid body dot use gravity is equal to true. Game object dot layer is equal to layer mask dot name to layer default. So that way it'll just of course be in the default layer and it's not going to be picked up as a, as an enemy or anything like that anymore because the NPC is dead. Uh, and of course what I'm doing there is uh, you know in Unity I've already disabled the collider and set the rigid bodies to is kinematic on each of the uh, ragdoll uh, body parts, I guess, of the NPC. So now this is about activating those so that the ragdoll can take over. And of course, as you know, uh, once the uh, nav mesh agent and animator and the state pattern are all off, uh, and the layers, of course, are set to default, um, then that's it, really. Then the hitbox is gone, uh, the collision detection field is gone, uh, then there's nothing more to it, and it's just a ragdoll. Okay, so we need to fill in on enable and on disable, but get rid of uh, start and update. No need for those. So in on enable, put set initial references. So of course, we must call that method. And then npc master dot event npc die plus equal activate ragdoll. And of course, the corresponding unsubscribe in on disable npc master dot event npc die minus equal activate ragdoll. So I'll just uh, save that. Scroll through pretty slowly. Okay, that's it. It was very short and simple. So jumping back into Unity, uh, now we need to go through and actually attach this to all of the relevant uh, components. So all of the game objects. So you can see like there, there's enemy ragdoll activa activation. So I need to replace that now. Okay, so I'll just put it there. So that's it, NPC Ragdoll Activation, and I'll get rid of the Enemy Ragdoll Activation script. And I'm just going to go through now and do this everywhere where there was an NPC, uh, where there was an Enemy Ragdoll Activation script. So just go through your model, and or if you're setting up a new one, then just set it up accordingly so it looks like this. Remember to uh, uh, to enable projection on the character joints for the rigid body, remember to use gravity, but set it to is kinematic. Uh, for the colliders, just plain all, just disable them, really. Just disable them, and that will be that. Okay. So I'll just keep go ahead and do all of that, rather than uh, taking up your time. And then once I'm done, I'll come back uh, to you. All right, so once all of the uh, game objects have had their scripts replaced, once you've set up the NPC ragdoll activation script everywhere, now I can finally get rid of the enemy master script. And if I removed everything, then I shouldn't have any errors, and uh, it should be all good. And it looks like um, uh, so far it is, otherwise it would have failed in finding the enemy master script, and there we go, perfect. So the uh, ragdoll has activated, and there's no problem whatsoever. Excellent. Okay, so we've progressed very far. We've still got lots more to do for this chapter, mind you. There's still a lot more to do. We don't have ranged enemies yet. So we've still got to uh, do a lot of work to set that up. Uh, and, of course, make other improvements as well. So I just hit apply to the prefab. All good. So save that and uh, keep on moving onwards.